Welcome to the first Bambi vlog. Let me update you. This is where I have been trialing some of the mugs, seeing what I like, what I don't like. Um, testing out not having a handle, so not really, technically it's not a mug, it's just like a tumbler kind of thing. And I think I'm pretty happy with the 3D logo that I've come up with. The first one that I made was a bit too big, so I made these mini koalas. And I think they're so cute. These tumblers are definitely not going to be ready by Valentine's Day, so my bad. <laughs> And then we can glaze them with the cherry love design. Not sure if I like that name. I wanted it to be like cherry kiss, cherry kiss Valentine. But yeah, here's my mold that I've been using. Here are the mugs that I started to make. Some of them have not made it, um, but I know that I was making a few mistakes with these ones. So I'd say these are like trial mugs. They look fine on camera, but there's like mini cracks here. Like if I just push that, it'd probably crack off. So we don't really want that. Um, this one, I stamped the bottom of it a bit too hard and the bottom like fell out. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this one and make it like a, a brush holder or something. Cute. Or like for my toothbrush. Anyway, right now we need to go to the studio and go and pick up some more slip because I have run out. I also bought these really cute earrings from Cami Citrine. I think that's how you say it. But um, yeah, so it's like a little hoop. I don't really have big hoops. I'm not gonna call this a big hoop, but it's like a medium sized hoop and I love it. I've also got a million plates to take to the studio. Okay, so now we're in the car, ready to go to the studio, and I thought I would check my emails because I have a parcel coming and I don't want to miss it. I don't really open my emails as much as I should. Um, and there was one from Ambulance Victoria and it said that my ambulance cover has expired. So I'm just gonna quickly fix that because I don't want to like step out of my house without ambulance cover. <laughs> And I feel like if I don't do it now, something will happen. And then I'll be like, oh, I should have done it before I went. If there's something that you need to do and it only takes about 10 minutes, do it now. Because then you don't end up with a massive to-do list for later. What was that? So we're all good to go with ambulance cover that has been reinstated. I really need to hurry up and get there because I kind of want to miss the school traffic. So we'll see how that goes. I also set up a little Etsy shop which I'll talk about later. Um, do I have tomato sauce on my face? I feel like I always have tomato sauce on my face. <laughs> Um, but yeah, with the Etsy app, it doesn't recognize my phone number, so I have to use this Google Authenticator app. Very annoying. Very annoying, Etsy. Oh my god, I just like pulled over because I swear I spied on my window. There is a massive huntsman, like, there. It's right there. It's right there. Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? Did you see it? It's right there. It's there. I'm shaking right now. <laughs> what do 
I do? <laughs> I'm sitting on the console right now. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Shh. Oh my god, what do I do? It's fucking massive. I, I actually think there's two. One's like stripy. They're like in the window thing. Someone... I used to keep fly spray in my car and then everyone was like you shouldn't keep it in your car it's flammable like it's dangerous blah blah so I took it out of my car and now what now what oh my God. I also will not be talking about the spider ever again I've had about three heart attacks in the last 10 minutes um, I also have PTSD and I will need therapy, so. So we did it, we made it, dropped off all the plates and then I also picked up 10 litres of stoneware slip which was very heavy. Um, so yeah, I will be taking applications for a boyfriend to carry all of my heavy pottery supplies. So if you know anyone, let me know. Take a look at my Etsy shop. At the moment, we only have the chest set available. Um, I'm not really fond of doing pre-orders, but for the chest set, since, you, since it is such a big piece and it's definitely something that's custom and expensive because it takes a very long time to make, I have to sculpt each piece or 32 pieces. And then I actually have to cut them all in half, scoop out the insides because they're too thick to be like fully made out of clay. For example, this piece, it's got like a hole. Because yeah, if I put anything in the kiln that's like full clay and like thick, it will explode. So all of the pieces are hollow. They're still heavy though, obviously, because it's clay. So that's good. Um, yeah, I tried to add a few more photos of each piece of the chessboard if you'd like to buy a chessboard. It's gonna be on Etsy. Honestly, I'm still kind of stuck with pricing. I don't really know what's appropriate and what's too much. If you factor in time and then how much care it takes to like look after the pieces, make sure they don't crack sponge them, glaze them, driving to the studio, dropping it off, driving home, waiting a couple days, waiting four days, driving back, picking it up, glazing it, taking it back for the second firing, picking it up again. You know, um, that's a lot of time and effort and energy that I feel like no one really gets with pottery. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off. Um, So yeah, no one, I feel like no one really knows how to charge for their time, how to charge for their energy output, effort output. At the moment we have the cream, brown and white and then I've also added black because obviously some people might want the original black and white chess set, whatever, boring, um, but no that's fine. I just leave it in there as an option and then you can also add in 
if you want like a little custom message like Megan's chessboard on the bottom of, on the bottom of it or like if you're giving it to someone you could put like your anniversary date for Valentine's Day cute just kidding it won't be ready by Valentine's Day this takes a lot of time for me to make so you need to let me know like a month before got it good um but yeah I have previously used Shopify and I did like it because obviously it has all the builds all the built-in tech already and you don't really have to think about a lot of stuff everything's automatic um, but it is quite expensive for someone who is still on the starting out side I mean if you're making money if you're making profits weekly with your small business you can afford Shopify I've been like making pieces and then I don't post for a couple months and then I post and then I sell like two or three things so at the moment I'd say my profits aren't consistent enough to have a Shopify which will be changing this year because I want to hopefully make this a full-time thing so if you'd like to support me and you like one of the cherry love mugs you should buy one yep as for pricing for one of these mugs I'm thinking about $20, $25 just because they're pretty easy for me to make. Um, there's a crack. Mm. Um, I'm thinking of, obviously they're not ready for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to do a Camberwell Market stall. Um, I've already bought a few pieces for the market store because I want to have like a little aesthetic, cute, adorable place. I've had this little sign made and it says follow us and then scan me through a fun little QR code and then people can just like pull out their phone if they don't want to talk to you and like just scan it and run away. That's what happened the first time I did a market. I mean, I've only done one or two markets. Um, and that's how that's how I got pretty much all of my followers. About 50 followers came from Campbell Market, which is crazy because they're still following me. So yeah, I really hope that the next market I do will get me a lot more followers. So, I also wanted to mention that I'm going to do like a pottery beginner guide slash q a every week so that people can ask me questions and then i can reply and help you because i definitely struggled as a beginner to find information like i you'd have to watch like a million youtube videos just to find what you're looking for or like when i would have a problem i didn't even know what question to ask i was just like this is happening how do i fix it so hopefully that becomes a good a good idea for other people to watch that and learn. So yeah, um, I don't really know what I should call that. I think I'm just gonna call it like pottery beginner Q and A, original. Anyway, I'm gonna go. It's been a traumatic day, and I still need to go to the gym. So, so that's all for today. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Bye. Hey guys, welcome. Hey guys.